It's that Z, too low, no, she my flow Yeah, 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 it's that Z Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video it's gonna be me and Brockus Our off return <laughs> February 22nd Okay, now uh, before we start please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe on my channel and turn on the notification to not miss an uploader stream from my channel. And as you can see over here, we're gonna be up against Vot Bim Natak and Savage. Alright, without further ado, let's head straight into the battle. Okay, the map of choice will be Forgotten the Forgotten Post. And here goes the battle. We're gonna have to fast forward a bit for us to get into the good part as usual. Okay. Barracks, three barracks, okay, three supply centers, upgrading level for HQ, getting those containers, nice and neatly, oh come on, ah, okay, gathering the containers, come on man, gather those containers, one Imba Rifleman is here, okay, and uh, one hide hidden infantry over there, going level 3 HQ, same thing for me, going level 3 HQ, and let's see now, a scout here going level 3 HQ. Okay, I'm gonna go on ahead and go level 4 HQ myself, as you can see over here. And uh, Brockus will head and go for Avia. He'll go for Hawks. Okay, and now going level 4 HQ. Okay, one sniper tower to deny the scouting. But um, on my base, of course, you know, it's like an open field, so. I will need a lot of sniper towers and sniper towers cost 170 resources and another scout over here okay two special vehicle factory and one factory so typical HQ3 Zeus Torrent Typhoon Rush okay versus this composition is actually quite good because he's gonna be opting out for Avia and that's pretty much that alright so as well known you know Vertex or Hawks, you know, are not actually good versus Typhoons, and six Typhoons can one-hit kill a Hawk. If they're, like, clumped up, Hawks are dead. Alright, regardless of how many they are. If there's, like, six Hawks clumped up, they're dead. If there's, like, six Typhoons hitting them at the same time. Alright, now, as you can see over here, Zeus, Torrent, five-minute mark. Entering and gonna get rid of the sniper tower from uh, by Brockus. Okay, Hawks are in production, and as you can see over here, I am I just finished out level four special vehicle factory, and I will be opting out for one factory, two special vehicle factory, and of course this guy will have vertex. That's why I have anti air to defend, and as you can see, Brockus is like trying to delay the inevitable. Okay, gun tower helping out. Let's see how a gun tower damages a Zeus. Very funny. <laughs> and that's with a gold common defense boost in less than 30 or less than 10 minute mark. Okay, now those torrents are actually within the range of that uh, gun tower over there. So poorly microed. They can actually fire on that uh, gun tower without being fired by... Uh, a gun tower <laughs> out of range rather so yeah there goes barracks has been destroyed so I'm just gonna go ahead and have my army march forward onto this location so that of course waiting for this chameleon to arrive and of course I'm not gonna leave my base unattended had three anti-air there to help out with the defense barracks being placed over here now let's see Zeus did not actually go up above the cliff and there's like another gun tower here for assurance. Nice. Two hawks are available. Okay, and my uh, saving squad is almost here. Vertex are going to be helping out and attacking this gun tower. Alright, that's actually two vertex. Okay, there's nothing here to contest that vertex since those hawks are going to be gunned down by those typhoons. Okay, so two typhoons, two hit. A hawk. Very funny. Alright, that's how powerful typhoons are. Okay, now let's see here. Again, those vertex are trying to be annoying. Here goes my aid. 
Okay, I'm gonna help out Brockus with the defense. So I'm gonna first I'm gonna have to try and get rid of those torrents. Okay, of course that Zeus. So there won't be any frontliner. Oh, and then guessing inside the fog. Okay. Alright, so yeah. You can just ignore the fog and head straight to where those units are. Wow. Before the 8 minute mark, a Thor just popped out. Okay, that's a fast Thor, by the way. Okay, so yeah, here it goes. Let's continue. Okay, reinforcements coming here. But I only have two Jaguars here since I only have one vehicle factory. Ooh, almost destroyed my chameleon since it's not turning on due to the bug. Okay. Uh, one Jaguar has lost its way over there. Now let's see here. I managed to fend off the uh, enemy. And again, gold scouting to see here. Three airfields, okay. The green player is opting out for a full avia. Those green deers actually managed to help me out in terms of getting rid of the land mass of the blue player. Okay, now time to get rid of this uh, typhoons, of course. Alright. Now, let's see what'll happen here. No, let's see how Brockus is doing. He's actually doing good. Second uh, airfield in production. Or it's gonna be produced. Okay, now Hawk, uh, Thors. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's like two Thors, man. Two Thors versus maxed out airfield. Okay. Okay, now actually that's nice. Okay. Nice interception by those uh, three hawks and uh, porcupine. My porcupine and Brock's porcupine. Alright, very nice. Okay, now uh, time to add more anti air since there's like Thor's into the mix. Okay. Now, we're gonna have to check what's gonna happen here. And of course, one special vehicle factory for. Porcupines will be held over there. Anti-air is going to be constructed. Yeah, it will be under construction. And, of course, since the rush of the HQ-3 failed, the blue player will now have to add more supply centers. And, now let's see what happened there. One Vertex actually tried to scout my base. Okay, that's why I added more anti-air, of course. My base is without any protection. Alright, now Hawks are trying to be annoying. Okay, now look at the damage of those, uh, yeah, of those typhoons to those hawk, you know. <laughs> no, okay, so yeah, well, never mind, so let's continue. Okay, now I'm gonna have to position my army over here. Okay, second, uh, I mean, reinforcements are gonna be over here, uh, over there. Okay, now I got like two Jaguar in production continuously course continuous Jaguar production and they are now rallied over to this place do you know like okay now before that let me just state that I'm leaving my base unattended without any land land defenses that's because of the green player opting out for a full air build okay that's why I only left my base with anti-air all right just to make it clear and also within this time that's why I had this unit's newly produced rallied to this place is because the green player at this time might have already Zeus just that you know might just come forward to my base and I'm defenseless so I don't want to I don't want that to happen okay here goes now let's see what's going on here all right well time to continue uh, continue all right now I'm gonna have to prepare an attack over here I saw one assault over there now let's see what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Those assaults are trying to like somehow get into this. Okay. Now as you can see, a trick here is that have your units on hide mode. So now keep in mind that if this assault, you know, like if like a fog is activated, you will not be alerted. All right. If there will be any units marching here, so I had my units on hide mode. So they will not fire on this assault to keep my army hidden from the minimap. So he won't be notified that I am actually marching forward here. Now I actually have a decoy over here. Okay, let's try and move on. Okay. Oh, unfortunately, my chameleon was super smart. 
Okay, now here goes. Uh-huh. Now that Jaguar, I don't know what happened there. Okay. Alright, well, that was a nice attempt to hide my presence. Alright, so I'm gonna go on ahead and head over to this location since those army are actually out of position. And again, fog not turning on, a bug that has been clear, that's clearly been not fixed yet, regardless of the patch that has made, that has been made. Okay, well, let's see what'll happen here. I'm gonna go on ahead and have this army over here be annoying as humanly possible, and the Thor will now have to bomb, be constantly on the move, as this army also. Okay. Walls, gonna be built over there to prevent any advancements. And of course, you know, torrents are gonna be super annoying as to like force fire on the chameleon. I'm gonna be heading over here and I'll also be trying to be annoying as well. As you can see, I'm just moving my army all over, all over the place. Mm -hmm. And those torrents can like guess where the fogs or you know, where the jaguars are. Alright, so again, keep your army on the move. Okay, to avoid Thor bombing runs. Now only a, a chameleon is left, but the two the two Jaguar and a porcupine is dead. Alright, so yeah. Okay, no! Solid bombing run. Okay, but I managed to pick up some units. Try to pick up the supply center. Of course, before you die in vain. Uh huh. So you don't die in vain at least. Cause some damage, man. Oh, not able to kill it. Yeah. Okay, but of course. These two Jaguars will live. There are actually no Vertex available, but only Thors from the green player. I wonder why this Vertex is not moving out. Okay, so yeah. Okay, now this Chameleon has lived to see another day. We'll have to retreat. And the Vertex again in production. Now reinforcements coming over to this place. I'll have this Chameleon rendezvous with this uh, unit over here, left over. So that I'll go on ahead, go on ahead and attack over to this place again. Now, as can be seen over here, adding more anti-air supply centers, a power plant, two avia factories. So I have my own. Oh, <laughs> okay. Again, that's like Thor's versus a maxed out factory in a special vehicle factory. <laughs> Only took like eight. Seven Thors? Yeah, if there's like a rewind, I will rewind it, but there's none. Alright, well, anyway, they actually, uh, I don't think that they saw this, but if they did, I'm actually expecting that they saw this to air uh, Avia Factory that I'm building. Okay, so how many uh, anti-air do I have here? I got like five. Let's see how, how five anti-air does. Okay, that's how much damage it dealt. Okay, and those hawks are trying to like chase it, but hawks are slow. <laughs> okay, another scout here. No Zeus. Okay, just Avia Factory. Thor, Vertex only. Okay, so another army moving out in here. And there's like an assault. Okay, that actually triggered an alert to the green player. So I'm going to be expecting a Thor bombing run. I'm going to have to retreat. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, there goes as expected. Uh-huh. Oh, but they were not heading to my position. They're gonna have to bomb Brockus. Okay, now Hawks are gonna be uh, on alert. Ooh, and they saw this. Okay. Mm-hmm. Four Thors are not maxed out, but still managed to do this much damage. Okay, nice. Okay, ooh. Okay, so this blue player is now going to go ahead and head out to attack Brockus. And I, on my end, will have this strike force over here attack the blue player, while I will have this detachment be a distraction to the blue player's army. Okay, now let's see how this, how does that work. Okay, keep the chameleon moving around. And let's see now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright, now we're going to have to pause here for a bit. As you can see over here, Thors are now going to be crossing out. And again, ooh, a cyclone, okay. <laughs> Trying to get rid of the hidden infantry. But of course, I have no calms or worries of any landmass coming from the green player since there's like no 
level 3 factory. Okay, so this ball of a uh, chunk of units are like very dangerous to Brock space as you can see over here. He only has two hawks. Okay, yeah, two hawks and some gun towers to defend him space with, with porcupines. Alright, to continue. Mm -hmm. Alright, so technically I had my army or this chameleon stop moving. Okay, now again, those uh, Thors are going to be bombing. Ooh, a hairline. Okay, a hairline. Okay. Now, there's actually a bug on the damage calculator earlier. That's why four Thors could not destroy this nuclear damage calculator bug. All right, there it goes. Continue. Trying to be annoying still. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, this small detachment actually paid for itself into buying time, you know. Okay. Now, while all that is going on, I'm going to be moving all over here and attack this blue player. Okay. Kill that to those Torrents, man. Come on. Ooh. An assault. Oh. Okay, an assault over here managed to go over there in an, in an attempt to destroy the nuclear. Okay, nice pick off there within the, the HQ. Trying to move around, of course. There's like Thors. And let's see now. Uh huh. Okay. Again, be constantly on the move. Okay. Still trying to destroy some of the uh, torrents. Mm hmm. Nice. Okay, and again, only a chameleon is left over here. <laughs> okay. Alright. Now, let's see what will happen here. This nuclear is still alive. Alright. Oh, and again, the forces of the blue player, you know, there's there might just be hesitation earlier, but now it's going to go ahead and attack. Do Go for a base trade. Now, let's see what's going to happen here. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Nuclear now gonna be launched. Well, let's see what's gonna happen. <laughs> All right. Well, destroyed everything, including the HQ, and then those uh, Thors managed to kill the uh, nuclear at the at long last. And I also am attacking this blue player, and I'll also use my Hawks to attack the green player or what's left over of its base. So I'm attacking two players at the same time. Oh, well, actually, those uh, units from the blue player actually managed to head back, or decided to head back to its base. And I'm gonna have to clean the rest of the buildings from here on. I'll also have some small detachment head over here just in case. Okay. Now let's see how the progress here. Just a barracks are gonna be cleaned up by my hawks. Very nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I think at this point, they already left the battle. And that's going to be JJ. All right. So, yeah. JJ. All right. And again, guys, if you'd like the video, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my channel, and turn on the notification so that you won't miss an upload or stream from my channel. And of course, please do check out my previous videos as they contain tips and tricks that, may that might help you win a battle. Alright, and of course, that's with English commentaries. Might as well follow me and follow and like Art of War 3 International page on Facebook. Alright, that's actually my own personal page. So you can actually post a, your, your videos there to get more audience. Okay, and so we're going to have to clean the rest of the buildings from here on. Alright, and again guys, thanks for watching, have a great day, and good luck with your battles. Bye now! Victory! Victory.